Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you very much, and a big shout out to everyone that keeps on giving us stuff to react to. You guys, you guys are the reason why I was still doing this, and we're very, very grateful. If you want to interact with us, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, and just feel free to drop us a message and we'll be more than glad to interact with you. If you want me to react to something, drop the link in the comment section below and I'll do it. So yeah, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to is every most is every non-Muslim going to hell? I mean do that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. See all the Christians and everybody else who only believes in one God is running around saying these people are wrong. Why are they wrong? That's, I mean, we don't know that. We're not going to know until we're dead. And so how can people run around saying that you're totally wrong and they're living the best life that they can and they're doing what they consider right? The Muslim is not that intolerant. You see, the, what the Muslim says is this, each one will be judged according to his or her opportunity and the background. God will not judge you and me on the same level. Everybody according to his light and knowledge. For example, to the Red Indians in the reservations. Whatever their concept, what opportunities did they have? There are millions in the world today who never heard the word Jesus. You know that. But the Christians say they all go to hell. This is what the Christians say. They never heard the word Jesus. There are millions who never heard the name Muhammad. They never heard the word Allah. The Muslim doesn't say he'll go to hell. That's the difference now. What the Muslim says is that each and every one will be judged according to his capacity, his understanding, his background. Did he have the opportunity of receiving the message? So he had. Could he see? He saw. Like vivid flashes of light, truth, he saw. And yet he rejected it. Why? For certain material reasons. What will people say? Now you join the Arabs now. You join the Iranians now. Is that your consideration or is it truth? So you will be judged, I will be judged. See? Jesus Christ, you say he is a God and he died for your sins. Now says, now I reject the idea. Why do I reject it? What is the reason? Is it prejudice? I said, no, if I become a Christian, you know, my people will look down upon me. You know, my wife might divorce me. Is that the reason? So I'm doomed. So, we are charitable in Islam. Maybe you never heard the name Muhammad. There are people, Christian priests. I had a few visiting, going through South Africa, Durban. Japanese, you know, priests with those dog collars on that I know is Christian. He's not a Shinto or a Buddhist. They were passing through Durban and somehow seeing that they were Japanese, I wanted to know, where you come from? They said something like Brazil or Argentina. They were going from there back to home. So I asked them if they know anything about Islam. Never heard the word. They never heard the word Islam. I said, you know Islam? Mm -hmm. It's like Greek. I said, no, what are you talking about? I said, heard the name Muhammad? Never heard it. Quran? Never heard it. I said, now God can't be that unjust to him. I said, look, you, you heard about my message Muhammad and you didn't receive it? Go to hell. No, God, God can't do that. They never heard the term. They never, so they will be judged on a different level. You know, Jimmy Swaggart puts it so beautifully. Swaggart, beautifully. He says, you see, the closer you are, you are to the light, we can see more flaws. Huh? You are away from the light, so many of your shortcomings are covered up. Closer to the light of truth, in other words. You see, if you are, you are being everything, every little blemish is shown. So if you had access to that light, then your responsibilities are getting <laughs> greater. You are listening to the man, and he said, look, this thing makes sense. It makes sense. How can somebody die for your sins? For example, you have a headache and I take the pill. You have AIDS and I take the injections. I said, does it make sense? I said, no. It's a most nonsensical idea. That Adam and Eve, they sin, for which they're thrown out of the garden. I'm asking, is that not punishment enough? Is, not that, is that not enough punishment? You throw the man and his woman out of the garden for having disobeyed. No. It's not enough, says the Christian, that God now curses them. That from now on, you man, you must sweat for your bread, and the woman must bear children in pain and suffering, labor. Is that not punishment enough? No, says the Christian. 
at the beginning of 1986 we were 4.8 billion on earth human beings and the Christian says everybody goes to hell why? because of the original sin what Adam and Eve did I am asking did Eve ask you before eating the apple? he says no I said did Adam ask you before eating the apple? you say no then I said how can God hold you responsible? is he a lunatic? this God of ours is he a lunatic? if a human being did that we say the guy is a lunatic you know, making you responsible for your great grandfather did. He says, the guy is a lunatic. Is God a lunatic? He says, no. Then how can he make you responsible? Then he says, now that's how the Muslim reasons. The Bible tells you clear cut language. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The one that sins is going to perish. And the Christian puts a full stop. I said, there is no full stop there. There is a comma. Why don't you complete the sentence, the verse? He says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Father Adam sinned, his children are not responsible. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. He says, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. Whatever good thing the good man does, he gets his benefit, the reward. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Whatever you, the evil fellow does, he gets punished for it. Salvation, so, but if the wicked will turn, means repent from all the sins that he has committed and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. That is salvation. We Muslims, we say we believe in it, we accept it. You say, no, all your good deeds are like filthy rags. You will go to hell unless you believe in the blood of the Lord Jesus. So, this dialogue carries on, discussion carries on, and overall, if you can see clearly that the Muslim has a point irrefutable point, logical point, based in his Bible, based in the words of Jesus, then you have to accept it. If you don't, now your condemnation will be sure. After that, after that. Verily, those who believe, and those who are Jews and Christians, and so Um, a very good point. I mean, it doesn't make sense that someone should get punished for their not. They should get punished for something that they're not aware of. Yes, if you knew, if you saw your um, sister doing something bad and you don't stop them, maybe we can say, we can feel that good of saying, I had the chance of keeping my sister safe, but I just let her do what she wanted to do instead of feeling the blame of saying now my parents are going to punish me for the um for what happened to my sister or god is going to punish me for not protecting my sister at the end of the day yes we're supposed to be each other's protectors but i myself should reason have i come this ac across this information yes i have what am i doing about it that's a personal thing that i myself have to do not the person that see me uh, get that information I uh, maybe they can try to educate me more maybe I can go to them to learn more but then still they should not be punished for my um for my wrong dream if I should decide to say something bad on camera um, Jesse doesn't have to be blamed for that because I'm the one doing it he's his own person I am my own person otherwise at the end of the day, I guess no one can be punished for something they don't know. No one can be punished for doing something they didn't know was wrong. No one can be just punished for any other thing that, let me just say, just doesn't make sense. Otherwise, I think it makes more sense that everyone is going to be punished according to what they've done in life, not according to what their families or friends have done in life. Let me know what you guys actually think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe if there's something that you guys need. If there's something that you guys want me to react to, just please drop the link in the comment section below, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.